The U.S. Ambassador Deborah Malak today unveiled her second annual report on support to Uganda at her office in Nsambia. She started off by allaying fears that the U.S. would cut back on aid offered to Uganda. Uganda has, has not seen any uh, particular uh, decrease in the types of assistance that it receives. Obviously, a number of our programs are multi-year programs, so it's money that comes in, and then we're, it's three, five-year time horizons. In some cases, I think we have one seven-year project. Um, so, so that funding, you know, remains uh, until it's uh, until it's used up. In her 2017 report, which looks at the performance of U.S. support to Uganda in the past year, showed America had been involved in various projects, including prosperity health, security, democracy, and education. Malak explained why the U.S. was keen to continue support to Uganda. We're happy to say that the, the funding levels have, have remained largely consistent uh, as of now. Uh, in fact, we've had more money this past year in Uganda, largely because there's been some additional humanitarian assistance result of the refugee um, influx. According to the report, the United States provided more than $971 million, approximately $3.6 in assistance to Uganda. Most of this support, about $506 million, approximately $1.8 trillion, supported health programs in Uganda. Uganda it has the capability to diagnose infections. I've worked in many parts of the continent. Um, some of these same diseases are no doubt present there, but um, some of your uh, institutions, such as Uganda Virus Research Institute, really are world class. About 1.3 trillion shillings was used to support conflict mitigation and reconciliation, defense and peacekeeping, refugees and global health security agenda. Uh, we have an ACODA program which does peacekeeping training. It's been here for 10 years. And uh, at this point, it is almost entirely transitioned to the UPDF uh, personnel doing, conducting all the training. U.S. support to Uganda forms the bulk of direct aid received annually. And today's report was meant to explain the status of support received over the last year. Walter Mwesije, NTV. <laughs>